Everybody. It's John, aka Smelly Telly, and I'm hanging out here in Evansville, Indiana. More music and more guitars.com. And today, I'm demoing Larry's new favorite guitar. I walked in, and he immediately was like, I love this guitar so much. He's talked himself out of buying it because he's like me. He's got kids, he has children, so we can't buy anything nice. But it's 335. Now, here's the cool thing about this. Uh, this isn't even a custom shop. You'll notice that it's got plenty of flame on the top, so it really is a gorgeous guitar. It's a gorgeous sounding guitar and playing guitar too, so it's one of those guitars you might pick up and you might assume that it's one of the historics or uh, a custom shop, but it's actually an American kind of standard production guitar. So let's get into the specs of it. Nothing too groundbreaking for a 335. You know, you've got a mahogany neck, rosewood fingerboard, the neck is what they call a C, medium C, is that what they said, mediums? A rounded C, the neck is a rounded C. Uh, so to me it feels pretty full. It's not, not as beefy as like a, a 59 reissue, but it's got some meat to it. It's definitely not the 60s thin taper. Uh, they do call this the 60s model, by the way. This is the 335 60s. The top is a, let's see if I can do this, maple, poplar, maple, laminate top there you go the pickups are a little bit different they call these the t-types which is kind of i guess an homage to uh, the t-tops that you would see like in the very late 60s and through the 70s that are pretty popular um, and then everything else is pretty much the same does has the, have the orange drops you know uh, which kind of it does clean up really well basically so we're going to go through a couple of tones with it and We'll do some clean, we'll do some dirty. You'll hear it a little bit. This one probably will not stick around for very long because it's, it's a really nice playing guitar. Imagine when we get it out on the sales floor. But if it does happen to be here, um, you know, it should get on and gobble it up real fast. All right, so we'll start with the clean sounds and I'll start down here in the bridge position. I have the volume and tone all the way up. running through the Mesa Boogie Fillmore through actually a Friedman cab today. So the bridge pickup is nice and full. Not too uh, piercing for a bridge humbucker. neck. So I like the neck pickup a lot. And then in the middle. Pretty nice. I would say that it's a, the neck and the bridge actually are balanced really well. Larry and I both are loving these T-type pickups into a little bit of gain, so we'll go to the gain channel, back to the bridge.
Larry had the tone pulled back a little bit for kind of that clapping thing. Uh, that's all I'm gonna play of that riff. Or, and that's all I'll play of that riff too. So pulling back on that, kind of that woman tone, right? And we'll go to the neck position. Larry noticed it doesn't turn to mud, which is pretty cool. So it's pretty cool. Um, this guitar gets an A from Larry and I both. It's a really fantastic playing guitar and I think it sounds incredible, especially through this Fillmore. So you might wanna order both <laughs> if you can swing it. So this is the Gibson 60s 335 and of course in cherry and it's got the T-type pickups in it. This guitar is ready to go. It is set up perfect, it sounds perfect, and it's gonna make somebody very happy. And if you've got any questions about this or anything else you've seen in the videos, you can kinda make a comment in the video section or you can email us uh, through the website at moreguitars.com or you can call down here and talk to one of our fantastic sales associates. My name is John, you can call me Smelly. I appreciate you hanging out with me today and checking this guitar out with me and I'll see you in the next video.